Hey, you beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome back to another Warframe video. We are going to be talking about Grendel and how you guys can go and acquire him along with some tips on how to go and get those missions completed. I don't know about you guys, but Grendel is arguably the most difficult frame to go and acquire. But before we continue with the video any further, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like to support me or the channel any further, do remember to leave a like on this video as it does help me out substantially. Spot and hit the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams. Ladies and gentlemen, we also do have a Discord server, so if you guys like to go and interact with me outside of YouTube or doing any one of my live streams, go and join the server as this is the place to go and be. What are you guys waiting for? Go and join the server. There will be a link down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video on the road, shall we? Now, in order to go and get yourself Grendel, we need to then go and do a, a few things. The first thing is go to the market like so and go and buy his blueprint. So go to the market, top left here, you'll see a search bar. Simply just go and type in Gren and as you guys can tell, here he is. Click on it. We're not going to go and buy the Warframe with Platinum. We're simply just going to go and acquire his main recipe. Go and buy his main blueprint, which will cost you around 35,000 credits. That's the first thing we need to do. The second thing is we then need to go and buy some special items. Now, these special items are locator missions where they'll tell you to go to a special mission in order to go and get Grendel. So you guys simply have to then go to any relay that has Seneca. So for argument's sake, we're just going to go to the one on Pluto, which is located in Orc. One thing I forgot to mention to you guys is it doesn't matter exactly which server or which session you guys go and pick. Whether it's busy or calm, just go and pick one. Once you guys are in the Orcus relay, you'll then come to this spawning area. Like so, we've got all the ships and of course other players as well. So what you guys simply need to then do is go to a syndicate called Arbiters of Hexes. Now if you take a look at the top left, you'll see we've got a map. We then want to go to the syndicate that has basically a Spartan helmet on. So you just go past Barricade here like so, don't really worry about the guy on the right here. But simply from this room, go take a right and go all the way down to the corridor of, you know, follow my exact route. Go past this syndicate and you guys want to then go to Arbiters of Hexes. Now remember, each syndicate has different, you know, symbols on the door. As you guys can tell, here's the symbol for the Arbiters of Hexes. And of course, there's always a symbol as well. So we want to go to those, you know, syndicate that has this particular symbol. It's got more of a helmet to it or a spot helmet. Go up to it like so and then you'll see two NPCs. One here, another one here. Simply go and, and interact with this one like so. As you guys can tell, it'll say Arbitration Honors. Click on X. When you guys do so, you'll then see a whole bunch of items such as, you know, your mods, you know, your cosmetics, etc, etc. Scroll down until you see the following three items. Grendel Chassis Locator, Grendel Neuroptics Locator, and of course, Grendel Systems Locator. Now, you have to then go and get all three of these locator items. Now, bear in mind, they will cost you 25 Virtuous Essence each to go and get them. And in order to go and get yourself these Virtuous Essence, you then have to then go and complete a, you know, arbitration mission. Now, I'll tell you guys exactly how to then go get yourself some Virtuous Essence just now. But let me just complete this particular part. Now, as for every other Warframe, you're going to be needing a Blueprint, a Chassis, Neuroptics, and a Systems. Now, obviously, go and buy all three of these parts. When you guys do so, you'll then go and naturally unlock some brand new special missions. So once you guys have actually gone and bought all three of those locator parts, you can then go to Europa. Here, you'll see three new brand new missions. Now, unfortunately, I've already used up two of those things, but you'll see there'll be a, all three missions will be on Europa. The first one is going to be a survival and the conditions is mods are disabled. And that is true, but it actually goes even further than that. So mods on your warframes and your weapons and your melee weapons, all of it will be disabled. And because of the survival, you are going to be surviving 20 minutes or at least trying to go and do so. You are also going to be disabling your operator abilities and your passives as well. And on top of that, any form of arcane that you have on your warframe or your melee weapons, those will also be disabled as well. So of course, you know, on Europa, you're going to see individual, you know, missions up here. It'll just tell you or just hover over it and it'll say conditions, mods disabled. If you guys find three missions that says mods disabled, then you're looking at the correct place. Now, the three missions is going to be a survival, a defense, and of course, an excavation. Now, the survival, like I said, you need to then go and survive 20 minutes with all of your stuff disabled. The other mission is going to be an excavation, meaning that you guys have to then go and dig up eight cryotics, or to put things in layman's terms, you guys have to then go and complete 
eight excavations at full power make sure that they don't get destroyed if you guys know how excavations work and finally and probably the most hardest one is going to be a defense now the defense mission you are going to be required to then go and survive 20 waves each wave is going to count as one singular rotation i would show you guys an example but unfortunately i don't really have the resources to go and do so now as for those virtuous essence you guys simply then need to go to the alert and as you guys can tell it says arbitration Go and play in your arbitration. Make sure that it is on public. When you guys do so, you'll then go and fight the enemies like a regular mission. However, you'll then go and see these robotics, which will then go and make sure that all the enemies are like, you know, immune. Go and kill those robotics and then go and pick up whatever they go and drop. I will, of course, be showing guys a visual representation as I want you guys to learn exactly, absorb all the information that I do spill out my mouth. Therefore, you guys can be excellent Warframe players. Now... Now that we know exactly how to go and access those missions, it is now time to go over the tips. So, tip number one, go with a public squad. Because these missions that you know, disable all your stuff, are going to be very, very, very challenging and very time consuming. Like I said, if you want to go and see my suffering, there will be a link in the description to my stream, where I went and farmed Grendel Life. It was an absolute pain luckily i only was able to go and do two out of the three missions as you know i already did the defense with like three of my other friends at the time so go and make sure that you do have a squad second thing is you then need to go and play trinity one person in the squad has to go and bring trinity now let me tell you guys exactly why so trinity is the best support frame in the entire game look at me look at me now i don't care what harrow i don't care what oberon or wisp offers nothing beats trinity she is on a class entirely of her own and why i say this mainly because of the fact that you know she makes the wielder's life so much easier when you guys are playing a supportive role you are going to be taking the following responsibilities one if your teammates die that's on you two if your teammates have no energy that's on you however the dying part isn't too bad because you know you're not going to be having any range and i don't even think you're going to be able to use any of your operator passives so therefore just make sure that all your teammates are close by but make sure to go and bring trinity as she's got two abilities that will make life so much easier for you and your squad the first ability is called energy vampire what energy vampire does is simply you go look at an enemy you'll mark them and they'll start like pulsing out energy if you guys go and kill that enemy then they'll explode of energy and you can do this as many times as you want however it's only one by one if you guys want to then go and ev another target you have to then go and kill that tar previous target and then go and mark the next target it's only one ev per you know enemy but hey Kill that one enemy and you'll go and give yourself a shockwave yourself and your nearby allies a shockwave of energy. The next ability is called Blessing. Now normally it's supposed to fully restore your health and of course, you know, give you a certain amount of damage reduction. But because of, you know, mods are disabled, we're not going to be able to go and have more, you know, damage reduction. But it will give you around a 50% damage reduction and we'll then go and heal you guys from zero all the way up to whatever the default percentage currently is excuse me there's actually a lot of talking to do the other warframe i do suggest you guys go with is either nova now nova is a very powerful frame mainly because of the fact that she's got an ability called molecular prime which can not only slow down the enemies and give you guys tons of crowd control but also she can make the enemies a lot easier to go and kill without mods your guys are going to be needing some sort of you know damage multiplier outside of mods to go and take out these enemies another great ability is wormhole which is not going to be that useful allows you go from point a to point b that's okay but the most important one is anti-matter drop so what happens is nova throws this ball out and you just have to shoot with your pistol which will then go and kill groups of enemies and of course now start to make sure that you guys are survival or surviving because remember each ball antimatter particle that is surrounding nova will then give you five percent damage reduction for each one that you guys are going to go and see as you guys can tell, we are only going to be receiving 6% or 6 antimatter particles. We're only going to be having around 50 or so damage reduction. But overall, it's a very solid ability, mainly because of the fact that those balls will then go and hit the enemy with some slash procs. Ladies and gentlemen, do go take a look at the rest of my videos. I make some pretty awesome Warframe content that's here to go and give as much value to you guys as humanly possible. Do leave a like on this video, does help me out substantially. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams. And also, we're also going to say one more thing as well. Oh yeah, go, go, go ahead and take a look at the Discord server if you guys like to go and interact with me. Outside of YouTube, this is the place to go and be. There will be a link down in the description. 
I'm like a banana and split. <laughs>